name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. The Bible, 30 chapter. The Bible title is Building a New Wall. Sorry. 1 to 8. Nehemiah was a servant of Persia king. One day, Nehemiah heard someone sad news at the palace. The wall of Jerusalem was blow, broken down. The gates of Jerusalem were burned. Nehemiah cried several days. He prayed without eating anything. The king asked Nehemiah, why are you so sad? Nehemiah answered, The temple of my God in the in my country is ruined. The gates of the city are burned with fire. The king liked Nehemiah. The king was worried. He asked Nehemiah, What do you want me to do for you? Nehemiah answered, send me home. Please allow me to rebuild the wall. You may go. Rebuild the wall. I will give you whatever you want, said the king. The king gave Nehemiah blocks to beat the wall. Took the blocks and returned home. Nehemiah met helpers. They began to rebuild the wall. Who is Nehemiah here? He, the purple cloak, this Nehemiah, right? Some people didn't want to rebuild the wall. Some violent and Tobiah was very angry at that idea. They laughed it at the people of Israel. They tried it to hurt, hurt Nehemiah. They tried it to hurt the people of Nehemiah. They didn't want to rebuild the wall. God helped Nehemiah build the wall. God helped Nehemiah put up the gates of the city. Nehemiah did want to did what God wanted to him to do. It was not easy to rebuild the wall. They rebuilt the wall with God's help. The friends of Nehemiah came to see the wall. They thank God for helping Nehemiah. They thank God for making Nehemiah rebuild the wall. 31 chapter The Brave Queen Esther Haman was going to Esther 1 to 10. Haman was going to kill the people of Israel. Uncle Mordecai said to the Queen Esther, what do you want me to do? said Esther. Please ask the king to help us, Esther, said Mordecai, but Esther couldn't do it. Esther could go to the king only when he wanted. Esther was an Israel. She was the king of Persian. Queen of Persian King Xerxes. Mordecai was a guard and at the gate of King Xerxes. Mordecai was a guard at the gate. Haman was the king chief helper. He hated the Israel because actually he Haman hated 
is rare because of Mordecai. Um, like Haman said, bow down to me, but Mordecai didn't bow down. So Haman hated the king. No, no, that is Israel. He didn't know the king was an Israel. He planned to kill the people of Israel. Oh, that's bad. I don't want to die, said Esther, but Esther loved her people. Queen Esther wanted to the king Xerxes without her permission. The king welcomed her. The king loved her. Um, he have asked for the dinner. So after dinner, when they were eating dinner, he, she was saying that I am a Hamanist. This one. The king loved her. The king Xerxes promised Esther to do anything for her. Please help my people, said the queen. A bad person is the Haman is going to kill my people. He's trying to kill me. The king didn't like it. The king loved Esther. The king told Haman to stop it. Queen Esther saved her people. Esther and her people was not scared anymore. They were happy because of the brave Queen Esther. 32. Unchanging love of God. Job 1 to 42. Job was a growly man. He served God. He died what God wanted. He did what God wanted. God blessed him. Sad thing happened. The servant ran to him. Bad people took our livestock. John was sad. Another servant and to came to Job. They killed the ramen livestock. They killed all the servants. The other seven ran to Job. Your sons uh, all died. Job were very sad. Job prayed to God in tears. Naked, I am from my mother's womb. Naked, I will depart. The Lord gave and the Lord took away from me. I praise the Lord. In spite of all these things, Job didn't sin or complain to God. Job became sick after that. Satan did all these things to Job. Satan wanted Job to go away from God. But Job didn't go away from God. I love God no matter what. I always love God, said Job. Job loved God even in despair. Job loved God by God even more. Job, be, Job came to know more about God when he was suffering. Soon, God helped him. Job in sadness and pain, but he didn't leave God. God gave Job more crowns, more ships, cows, more sheep. God also gave him more ten children. Wow. The stories are left. Okay. 33. Daniel in the king's dream. Daniel 2. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon was afraid. I had a dream, but I don't understand the meaning of the dream. 
The king gathered many people. The king asked them to interpret the meaning of the dream. Interpret my dream, said the king. How can we know about your dream, said the people. The king didn't like their answer. If you can't interpret my dream, I will kill you. The people were trembling with fears. Daniel was God's man. Daniel was said to the king, I will impact you the dream for you. Daniel prayed to God, What is the meaning of the dream? Please give me wisdom. God, God told Daniel that the dream was about. Thank you, God, for letting me know the meaning of the dream. Daniel told the king about the dream. Nobody could explain the dream. The king was satisfied. The, 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 the king was afraid of Daniel's God. King, the king was surprised with the, Daniel's wisdom. The king pleased him in a high position. The king gave him many gifts. The king let Daniel rule over Babylon. The king made Daniel a teacher of the wise men. For every wise man, Daniel thanked God for helping him. Wow, there's more stories left. Okay, I will read one more story for you. So day four chapter, God helped Daniel. Daniel 6, King Drugs man said King Drugs is going to please Daniel in a high position. But Daniel is forgiver. Daniel ruled over the Babylon. He was lonely and faithful. The King Drugs man didn't like Daniel. They afraid, failed to find Daniel's faults. They asked the king to make a new rule. The rule said, All you of you must pray and bow only to the king. If you disobey, you will be thrown into the lion's den. The bad people saw Daniel praying to God. Daniel knew about the new rule, but he prayed to God. The bad people saw Daniel praying to God. Oh, sorry. Bad people re report Daniel to the king. The king was not happy. He wanted to save Daniel. But the king had to put Daniel in the lion's den. It was the a rule. The king commanded them to put Daniel into the lion's den. The king said, your God will help you. People blocked the lion's den with a large stone. The king couldn't sleep that night. He couldn't eat anything. Early morning, the king went to see Daniel. Did your God help you, Daniel? Called the, la called the king. Yes, answered Daniel. God sent angel to protect me from the lions. God knew it was incorrect. He saved me. King Drus was happy. He ordered his men to take Daniel out of the lion's den. No word was fine on Daniel. Daniel trusted God. The king ordered everyone to honor his respect God. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you like it? I think only few stories are left, I think. Okay, we...
Take five for two minutes. story for you because actually this is almost end so I should read all I guess too much stories are left so today, only today I will read this. 35. John learned to obey God. God sent a great wind to on the sea. A violent storm arose. The boat was about to break. Jonah was in the boat. Jonah was running away from God. God told John to go to Nehemiah to tell them God's message. John didn't want to go to Niavia. He was on his way to Trashi. The people of the boat were worried. John told them that he was running away from God. He said, throw me to the sea, then God will stop the storm. People tried to row the boat the land. It was useless because the storm was too strong. The people threw John into the Regan Sea. Instead, the sea was sea became calm. God sent him a huge fish. To swallow Jonah. Jonah. The big fish swallowed Jonah. Jonah was inside the fish tummy for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed to the God and the fish, Please forgive me, I have sinned. The big fish sat out Jonah on the dry land. God said to Jonah again, Go and tell the people of Nyavnia to stop doing bad things. This time Jonah obeyed God. He went to Nyavnia. He told God's message to the people of Nyavnia. 63 and 60, 36. A rite offering. Malchi. The people of Israel did bad things. They married for gainers. They didn't serve God. They didn't give right offerings to God. God wondered the people saw Malachi. Worship God with all your heart. Give right offerings to God. Malachi said God will punish those who doesn't serve him. God will give new strength to this who serve him to obey God. Yes, actually, I have finished the Old Testament. This is the finish of the Old Testament. And next time, I will read New Testament. Yeah, then bye.